After more than two and a half century of uh, industrialization and uh, more than uh, four decades of uh, neoliberalism experiment, the most contingent factors of the future of our planet are anthropogenic climate crisis and income concentration. This double trouble is a consequence of a uh, wrong model of growth and related economic policy uh, platform. In a new millennium downing, the impact of global warming of 1.5 degrees above pre-industrial level is the greater challenge, maybe. It is the result of the planet Earth uh, layers disorder. According to John Forrester, the planet Earth itself is system dynamics nexus of elements interconnected together by exchange relations or flows. Phys uh, physical system is closed, but not isolated. The conservation law is a way of functioning in it. Matter and energy can be destroyed, they can be transformed. Energy change is possible, a change of matter is negligible. There are amount of energy that can be transformed into disorder or pollution and dispersed heat is actually manifestation of pollution. In biosphere layer, the fundamental law of functioning is adaptive evolution. In economic system, uh, be, uh, which is the uh, uh, man-made viability is measured by GDP growth rate. In conventional economic theory, sometimes called orthodox, independently from the school narratives, market is primarily coordination mechanism. Economic rules, primarily impacting the tax system and cost of capital. And these two variables are changeable, dependently of the power of stakeholders, primarily. Economists are the uh, toys in the hands of uh, politicians. The laws that govern the main processes in physical system, unfortunately, do not depend on economic schools narrative, as well as changing preferences of stakeholders and lobby groups. Today, there are deep fractures between the layers, vertical fractures, and inside the layers, horizontal fractures. In economic layer, the fracture is a consequence of long-term ignorance of negative external effects as a consequence of exponential growth based of industrialization. Particularly, after the exponential growth, which means compound average growth rate more than 5%, the next stage is overshooting. Fractures in economic system and disorder, particularly dispersed heat, have penetrated deeper into the structure of system dynamics, threatening sustainability of other layers of the planet as a whole. Also, climate crisis is macro relevant factor because we have a squeeze in the GDP level. Cautiousness about debt is raising which means climate change will influence climate of change. Attribution studies based on global climate models identify the role of anthropogenic factors as primary driver of global warming in this century. Also, recent modeling of global warming based on artificial intelligence also confirms previous results. Framing the carbonization challenge requires halving process anthropogenic carbon dioxide emissions uh, 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 squeezed in every decade. Almost all sectors need transformation part, particularly energy, agriculture, transport, construction, but then finance, because broadband is great consumers of electricity. Roadmap for halving anthropogenic emissions could help promotion of non-linear disruptive technological breakthroughs toward circular economy. Previous impacted new industrialization, A and B heterodox economic policy platform. 
Another indication of neoliberal model of capitalism fault line is income and wealth concentration. The term neoliberalism has been used to explain the trend in economics that followed the displacement of Keynesianism during 1970s with market fundamentalism and so-called Washington consensus economic policy platform. Washington-based institutional uh, support from IMF, World Bank, and U.S. Uh, Treasury Department suggested minimal reform package following principles of deregulation, liberalization, and privatization, particularly for Latin American countries in the 1980s and for countries from Central and Eastern Europe during transition in the 1990s. But in a, a home country, uh, neoliberalism produced plutonomy related to those who have extraordinary wealth. Manifestation of financial sector mentality for plutocrats is short-term orientation instead long-term growth and investment, particularly in market instruments in their portfolio. The global level, on the global level, distribution of wealth looks like champagne glaze. Top 1% captured 27% of total growth, and 20% of riches participate in 83% of income. In the meantime, neoliberal model of growth gets the alternative. Uh, in, in case of developing countries, uh, Development based on technology transfer following the, the principle of manufacturing-led export growth and inflation tar targeting as universal and almost exclusive policy tool, uh, get macro deficit, increase that, re reducing of speed of growth and developing economy into the so-called middle income trap. To escape the trap, it is necessary to, to reduce foreign borrowing. This is not possible without reducing technology purchase from abroad. Search for solution inspired growth model in early 1960s, so-called Asian model, supported by some luminaries like Professor Roderick, to our internal technology development supported by industrial policies. Previous was the seed of pro-growth state or managed capitalism in terms of Professor Rajan. The prosperity of any economy or business organization is contingent of compatibility of its structure of variables and context variables. Actually, the new normal is double flying wheel with two key forces moving in different directions. The Great Recession of 2008 and consequences of so-called unconventional economic policies and industry for all. The situation is further complicated by the fact that other forces holistically impacted key forces of the new normal, particularly uh, demographics, uh, new Cold War or geopolitics, uh, the global appeal toward the environmental conservation and uh, uh, unconventional uh, macroeconomic policies in the period after 2008. Uh, let me illustrate the coupling from the logic in the case of anti-recession measures based on simple examples, three simple examples. Uh, following too big to fail, policy central bank in uh, developed country after the 2008 crisis bailed out banks instead debtors. Second, ultra easy money in QE, quantitative easing, decoupled risk and reward relations. And third, negative interest rate destroyed time value of money concept. By destroying conventional cows result logic Unconventional economic policies have destroyed fundamentals of free market capitalism. 
Now we are in, in the brink of new era. Uh, this is the fourth industrial revolution. Uh, possibilities seems endless. We know that in so-called evolution of the industrial revolution, we see four stages. Now we are in the fourth one, uh, and uh, this is the era of endless possibilities, but endless threats. Uh, during the industrial revolution, we have and see quantum leap of, of performance in output productivity, but also in population. Growth curve of population is exponential. From 1784, when industrial revolution uh, start until 2015, the human population skyrocketed from 0 0.8 billion to 7.4 billion. So, we have a problem. We have uh, too many people uh, on the wrong side and not enough people on the right side. When it comes to paradigm, it is a time to expect inflection point. There are A, reason, B, opportunity. Every science, no matter how serious it is, follows its paradigm as a set of rules with the power of to explain behavior of the system under consideration. The new normal triggers paradigm change. Actually, this is a double paradigm change. Paradigm change in microeconomics and micromanagement and paradigm change in macro management or economics. Economy can't do what the nature can do, but it must follow fundamental principle of physical system functioning reversibility one. So if we follow this principle, circular economy is the right choice. Another requirement depends on the complexity of the system in the time of, okay, in the time of fourth industrial uh, revolution. Due to universal connectivity, which is the new free good instead of uh, land, uh, water, uh, and air, the possible interconnections or flows grow with the square of the number of interested parties or nodes. As a consequence, the complexity of the business ecosystem grows faster than the ecosystem itself. Namely, ability to find, classify, aggregate, and transform transaction data and actionable information grow faster than that of using it. It means that noise will grow faster than the signal. The former easily drones the later. So, actionable information is the, in the focus. Revolution starts in microeconomics with uh, so-called PDP loop, physical, digi digital, physical uh, loop, and continue in macroeconomics with new set of rules explained in so-called new model of circular economy, which uh, changed the linear model of production with principle of reversibility. New set of rules in economics are visible hand of the state is legitimate and complementary institutional choice and short-term budget balance should not be fetish and in connection, uh, connecting different form of capital for sustainable inclusive growth, there are double axis vertical for education and science and technology and horizontal for diffusion of uh, new innovations and results. Also, in a term of policy platform, we have the changes. This is so-called heterodox model with industrial policies, horizontal, vertical, 
and uh, automatic stabilizers uh, which harmonize uh, the, these policies to each other. The role of education in this situation uh, is concentrated on modern career development, change field STEM, science, technology, engineering, mathematics, change jobs, sustainable and inclusive, job and change direction, turning learning into returning. Many countries has the problem with brain drain because it's not easy to save the people in the same geography. Without reform, the people will left the country by using ecological means. Thank you. Thank you.